This is a quick tutorial on how to use the live trace feature on Illustrator. As usual, I'm going to grab my file, drag it onto Illustrator to open it. Go ahead and zoom in. It's a butterfly. I'm going to copy it and paste it. You can look at them side by side. The first image, I'm going to use live trace. Up here, there's a lot of tracing options and we can change the threshold and the path fitting and all of these do different things to affect the quality of the trace. What I'm going to do for this particular example is I'm just going to use one of the presets black and white logo so you can see what live trace does. It vectorizes any rasterized image so as I zoom into this you can see the one on the left is very pixelated the one on the right is perfectly smooth. Unfortunately, Live Trace doesn't always work that well. It doesn't do a very good representation. You can see we've lost a little bit of detail, but that's okay. I'm going to hit Expand, so that gives me all of my points. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup all the shapes. Illustrator has traced the white parts and the black parts. So if I were to ungroup it, the white parts and the black parts are actually separate. And just to show you what I mean, you can see that it made this white part a different shape. I can actually go ahead and delete that now if I want. I just want the black parts. So I'll select the white part and go ahead and delete. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to smooth out the shape over here. So I'm going to zoom in. The key with smoothing out shapes is you want to use the least number of points possible. So if I click on my image, you can see these tiny little anchor points right here, and those actually aren't even necessary. So what I'm going to do is see how many anchor points I can get away with deleting. And as I move my pen tool over these points, it makes a little minus side when I'm over an anchor point. So if I click there, it'll delete. So I'm only going to click when I see the little minus sign. There we go. And once I do that, I can switch to my arrow tool and I can grab these handles and start smoothing them out. I can actually even delete this one over here change back to arrow, and I can smooth that, that out by just pulling that out, which is a lot better than it was before. And I can continue to go through here and smooth out different parts, like this area down here is pretty rugged. Again, I'm using P for pen. I'm going to just delete some of these. I'm going to zoom out so I can see what the original looks like, a smooth curve right there. So in general, you want a point at the bottom and the top of all the valleys. So bottom of the valley, top of the valley. So let's go back over here. Top, bottom, top. Let's get rid of some of those. All right. Now I can use my convert tool. Pull that out. Switch back to my arrow tool to manipulate it. Convert tool for this one. Pull that out. Use my arrow tool. Smooth that out a little bit. So already I'm getting a shape that's a lot smoother than the original. This is a nice little um, curved area right there, and over here it's not so curved. So let's just get rid of some points. And again, get rid of as many points as you can. Let's convert that point. Bring it out like so. We'll use the arrow tool to sort of taper these parts in. And we can keep going throughout this shape here and clean up the entire shape so everything is perfectly smooth. And that's it. That's how you use the Live Trace tool. If you don't get the features that you want, you can always go through with your pen tool, delete points, use the convert tool and your arrow tool to manipulate everything and make it perfectly smooth.